So there's no legit protocol as to how to break off a really old friendship that has starting to this friendship is starting to feel like toxic and koi protocol hi nahi hai iska. You don't cut off a decade old friendship. She said you simply can't aditi. Main boli kyun nahi? Kyun nahi? मेरी फ्रेंड कल से बोलना है कि इफ यू एब्रप्टली ब्रेक इट ऑफ इट विल एब्सोल्युटली फॉल ऑन योर शोल्डर्स कि ये तेरा गलती है ते को चाहिए था कि हमारा फ्रेंडशिप आगे ना बढ़े ते को चाहिए था कि यू डोंट लाइक मी एंड दैट इज़ वाई यू आर ब्रेकिंग दिस फ्रेंडशिप ऑफ विच समवेयर हंड्रेड परसेंट माइट बी ट्रू कि ओके आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक ऑफ द फ्रेंडशिप बट बट ऑल्सो दे मस्ट बी अ रीज़न वाई आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक इट ऑफ लाइक ताली एक हाथ से नहीं बचती है जहाँ दुआ है वहाँ आग तो लगी होगी कहीं पे सो आई गॉट इन टू टॉकिंग विद माई ट्रेनर प्रियंका एट माई जर्नी ऑफ योगा ऑन इंस्टाग्राम चेकर आउट शी इज़ अ मेरिकल वर्कर शी हेल्प मी लूज टेन के जीज आई कॉन्ट बिलीव इड आई एम हेयर सो ग्रेटफुल अगैन नो अफिलियेशन बट फील फ्री टू मैंशन माई नेम इफ़ यू एंड अप ज्वाइनिंग वन ऑफ अर ऑनलाइन क्लासेज जस्ट टेल हर अदिति सेंट यू शी जस्ट माइट गिव यू टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ओके I do not make single rupee out of it. I just thought to give my friend a shout out. She's a great friend and a trainer. Okay, so we got into talking about how to cut off like really old friendship. When I say old, I mean ten, fifteen year old friendships. And somewhere we concluded that one of the best ways to do it is by reducing communication to bare minimum. If they reach out and speak to you, ठीक है बात कर लो talk, but you do not initiate any conversation moving forward like if you're talking let's say two or three times a day cut it down to once a day if you think you're talking like every other day or once a week cut it down to one call in two weeks and then eventually stop calling at all like cut it off slowly and start putting up distance that's it that's how you do it <laughs> in our like this is what we concluded हाय मेरा नाम है अदिति आप सुन रहे हो कायपन अदिति वेयर आई लॉक लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट एवरीथिंग वेलनेस ग्रोथ लव डेटिंग इन दिस बिग ब्यूटीफुल सिटी ऑफ मुंबई आई एम थर्टी वन आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन माय सेल्फ ग्रोथ करियर एंड एवरीथिंग इन बिटवीन एंड आई थॉट टू शेयर माय एक्सपीरियंस विथ यू गाइज सो दीज आर ऑल लाइक पर्सनल डायरी एसेज एंड आई फाइंड दिस स्पेस टू बी वेरी सेफ टू चार्ट अबाउट एवरीथिंग दैट आई लव एंड इफ आई एंड अप लर्निंग समथिंग आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन विथ यू गाइज आई डू नॉट लाइक टू गेट कीप नाउ आई अंडरस्टैंड दे आर थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इनक्रेडिबल पॉडकास्टर्स एंड क्रिएटर्स आउट दे हु वॉन्ट टू ई द एम्पावर यू एंड एजुकेट यू टू लिव योर बेस्ट लाइफ और जस्ट सिंपली एग्जिस्ट टू एंटरटेन यू लाइक टिकल योर ब्रेन एंड हार्ट with entertaining content so my essays are at random and i'm not a finance guru or a wellness coach or a doctor yeah i'm nothing i'm simply a creator by heart who reads a lot and who tries to improve myself every single day by just one person and i love to share my findings with you guys as i said i do not like to gate keep any information you are a friend of mine i consider you a friend of mine and so we like to as everyday friendship works you know i like to share information and i hope you enjoy today's episode so today's topic was triggered due to a personal life experience for those people who say this about friendship that even if we don't talk for months on end and we get on a call after a month long of no talk it just feels like time has not passed uh, and personally right now i don't think i believe this i don't think कि टाइम हैज नॉट पास्ट एट ऑल एंड द फ्रेंडशिप द रिलेशनशिप इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम इवन आफ्टर वी डोंट टॉक फॉर मंथ ऑन एंड यू नो द लॉन्गर यू डोंट टॉक टू अ पर्सन द मोर दे आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट वॉट इज रियली हैपनिंग इन योर लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस दैट यू फेज एंड लेटर इट सॉर्ट ऑफ बिकम्स अनकम्फर्टेबल वैन यू सी चेंज इन दिस पर्सन एंड यू आर लाइक क्वेश्चनिंग वॉट हैपन टू और लाइक हाउ इज शी टॉकिंग द वे शी इज टॉकिंग हाउ इज शी थिंकिंग द वे शी इज थिंकिंग सो वैन यू गेट ऑन अ कॉल आफ्टर थ्री और फोर मंथ्स एंड योर फ्रेंड्स डोंट अंडरस्टैंड योर चॉइस इज सिंपली बिकॉज यू आर नॉट ऑन द सेम पेज योर फ्रेंड विल नेवर गेर इट unless they've been there during your worst time during your struggles and hence now you might actually feel more distance between you and your friend then you would have to revisit the same old topics the same old struggle and pain and explain to them again which nobody wants to do that honestly like nobody wants to go back and relive the pain and share the experience all over again right now this could be the reason also marriage 
you know you're moving state you're moving country you're having children you're making new friends you're networking bad and good experiences are rahe hai at this point there's so many things that can make you change as a human and it's hard to keep up for anyone unless they are in your life and you are constantly in touch with them and this is where you might notice people's priority change and you're eventually losing lifelong connections period hota hai ho raha hai dekhte aaye hai but 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 of course today we want to talk about when is it healthy to let go of friendships that are no longer serving us that are no longer healthy and they've just simply turned out to be toxic turning out it started off pretty good early on but now it's just you're not vibing it's just it's time to like move on make new connection sure still have them reduce the communication still have them but time to move on so when do we let it go when what are the some telltale signs that okay this is turning into toxic friendship i don't think i want to hang out with her anymore all right number 1 when they only reach out to you when they need something from you how selfish can this be ki they only reaching out when they have a problem when they need something when they are in a lot of pain they would not reach out to you when they are at their high points or when they are truly happy or just simply reach out because just because you know there's no reason to reach out to your friends you just were missing so you thought to give them a call that's it the most unselfish way but you know it's starting to feel like they're only reaching out to you when they need something for you from you money ho gaya maybe they need your help uh visiting the doctor or maybe they are in lot of pain or like could be any reason why right but they're only reaching out during their was that's it that's that's just bad then number 2 when it's only you who keeps reaching out to them yeah i think at certain point you just got to realize ki um priorities have changed they don't have time why do you keep reaching out to them when they when aapka importance unke life mein itna nahi hai jitna aap soch rahe ho hai right your importance has somewhere reduced and their priorities have changed so theek hai if you want to reach out reach out fine but then also remember that it is only you who's reaching out i don't want you at the end of the day to be hurt to be sad to be crying so i want you to take a pause wait and watch when is the next time they'll reach out or they'll send you a message or they'll give you a call number 3 when they aren't there for you consistently during your worst times worst or even best times there have been so many personal personally there have been so many incidences where some of the biggest happiest celebrations and memories and ceremonies have happened in my life and this person was missing from it which kind of sucks and which kind of makes me remind myself ki oh shit like okay this now this friend of mine she might end up getting married and she's like no no i want you guys to come and i'm like you did not you were not there during some of the highest points of my life like i have to question i have to think you know can i make it then will i where will i be when that happens can i make it how can i do it like you just have to think ki bhai what if you get married tomorrow and they won't be able to make it because they had some other things going on but you are readily available when they call you up and they're like you know come and then you're like okay sure but then you they're not there for you that sucks na that just fucking sucks number 4 when they think they are better than you and try to one up you on every scenario good bad ugly mere problem tere problem se bhi worse hai making your issue seem invalid or stupid been there seen that in fact this was something that even me and my friend were talking about priyanka ki she had a really uh, bad experience with one of her friends when wherever whenever she would reach out to her and she would tell her ki this is what is happening in my life and uh, this friend of hers would always mention something even worse that was happening in her life and that it was like oh you've got this and this bad i've got so much worse than you i'm like that's just overall toxic and bad instead of like hearing her out and like giving her two cents that okay, you can do better than this and like giving creative solutions or just listening to it yeah you don't counter offer uh, your worst problems <laughs> which is just it's just not fair i think invalidating somebody's pain is just not fair yeah 
Number five, when they disrespect you behind your back and gossip about you and do things that are really questionable, shady and you simply cannot comprehend ki kaun hai, kya hai, kaise ban gaya ye person, aisa, why did this happen? Ab shady, ek example dungi shady ka, ki this person of, so the, I had a friend, she knew I had a crush on this guy. Now, my friend also knew this guy had a crush on me. But she still goes behind my back and she starts dating this guy despite knowing that both of us like each other. Imagine how shady and stupid and disrespectful can you be towards your friend by doing this. That's just bad friendship. You gotta cut, sh- cut such shit people off your life. Simple as that. Number six, when they're not stable and make you scratch your head with worry and concern. These are the kind of people who are people pleasers that don't have their own brains. They constantly need validation. In the morning, they might be like, oh, other thing, I'm like legit physically so sick and like I can't make it. I'm a lot of pain. Can you come help me out? Let's go to the hospital or I'll come to you. Let Take me to the hospital. And... At the end of the day, I was so worried. I was so worried, crying my eyes out, worried. Ki bhai, oh shit, like, do I need to go? And then she assured me that, hey, I called up the hospital. The nurse is coming in. Like, it was just indigestion, you could say. Something along those lines, stomach problem. And uh, the nurse came in. She gave her the medicine. She felt good. In the evening, she ended up attending a party. How do I know that? I called her up. I told her, what's up? Are you feeling okay? I called her up like six times that day. And in the evening, she tells me, yeah, I'm all good. I'm at the party. I was mind blown by the end of that conversation. I was like, whoa, 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 like shit. <laughs> Maybe I am wrong at the end of the day. Like I, maybe I am too concerned or too invested and too worried and I should not have been this worried. Or maybe she made the problem seem so big that, uh, yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal, I guess then. Yeah, that, those are like bad, bad experiences that I want to share. And again, next one, you know, they are energy vampires and they will suck all the good energy out of you and you will start to feel very depleted by the end of the conversation. Like when they truly, what they truly need is a therapist because the emotions may be valid and heart might be the right place. But then you keep going round and round asking the same question to five different friends of yours and expecting different result and like constructive answer. That is not going to solve your problem, honey. Like you need to take um, steps towards your own. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. You're your own heroine of this life and you need to take construction constructive actions for yourself irrespective of what people are saying right and they so these energy vampires they'll suck the good energy out of you and you don't want to be around them you start to again slow down the communication number eight when these people when this friend encourages you to do unwanted or unhealthy shit that will affect your emotional balance in general yes yeah, one thing to step out of comfort zone and another to push someone into doing something that they're not at all comfortable with that's just bad and that gives me a lot of anxiety like if a person is pushing you or forcing you into doing um, alcohol like have some cocktail have some cocktail I want you to get drunk I want you to have some fun I am and then here I'm like I don't think I want to do that personally that's just I don't think I want to do that but then if you're constantly coerced into you know no you have to do it you are my friend I'm drinking you also drink I'm also smoking you also smoke yeah, you want to stay the fuck away from such people. You don't want them around you at any point in time. Now, number nine, there has been serious betrayal. Like the foundation of any healthy relationship, reciprocal relationship is trust. Koi bhi achhe foundation of healthy relationship, trust hota hai. Give and take. Aap trust kar rahe ho, trust kar rahe ho. And well, if you break my trust, I will walk away. Simple as that. I won't turn around and give you another second chance. Period. I understand the concept of fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So walk away when you can. 
Number 10. Last. You feel anxiety prior to meeting up with this friend because you don't have strong boundaries. Your mental health is starting to suffer because you're hanging out with them. You might feel sad. You might end up with existential crisis post them leaving your house or post even talking to them. You might start to feel the negative thought patterns emerge that you have been trying so hard to get rid of and they might make you feel feared. They might make you even feel shamed or maybe they they come across as controlling. They come across as jealous, dismissive, passive aggressive or competitive to the point where your sense of confidence and self-worth is completely gone or is starting to deplete or you're questioning everything good that has that you worked to build up only post them entering your life. Oh, sab shatter ho jata hai. It takes a lot of effort to unlearn a lot of things and relearn and reinforcing. The only way to reinforce is by surrounding yourself with people who are healthy for you, your tribe, who reinforce more positive habits in your life. It's like if you want to run, you don't want to uh, hang out with people who have a very sedentary life. You want to hang out with people who are already running, who are good at running, who are better than you at that. And that is how you keep going at it by hanging out with such people. So yeah, these are a few points that everybody can take a look at in their real life. I'm sure up kisat bhi wanga mere sat bhi hoye sab real life examples hai by the way that I have collected from my personal experience and from my friends personal experience kaise sab hua hai and that is where you know okay small healthy dosage of such friends are okay but I don't think I can carry on further longer into it so think about it if you've ever come across them slowly start cutting off such friendship life is too short stop giving two fucks about you know what would people think or say the older you get the wiser you become and you stop caring or what other people think like that's just it not, they're not coming to live your life they're not coming to live my life and i'm not going to come and live their life so period figure out what works best for you this is how you know when to cut off a toxic friendship in your life yes that's it for today. This is Aditi. Aap sun rahe ho. Kaipan Aditi. I'll see you next Sunday at 11, 11 a.m. Again, thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Bye.